Hey guys, um, it's been a while, it's, uh, it's me again, John, um, it's been a while since my last video, to that I have to apologize, my life once again got busy and, you know, just, you know, approaching senior year, you know, I got, I'm part of my school's marching band, you know, and also gaming, you know, just stuff gets in the way. Um, Want to share some stuff today? I've recently been going, organizing a bunch of my uh, D and D stuff, like homebrew stuff that I've written up. Um, yeah, I compiled it to at least two file folders. Um, there's just a lot of material here. I go just brief uh, first character sheets I ever made are in here. I have him in here. Yeah, here he is. Try human sorcerer. Level two. You can get that far with him, but yeah, it's cool. Map. Yeah, because uh, this was me and my friends basically, and my dad DM'd. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Uh oh. Here we are. Another thing, um, Corruption Point homebrew I did, um, was basically to, uh, make alignment changes in D&D a, um, a lot more, um, a lot more interesting and a lot more how I thought it, it made it interesting and it made it, he had a system for alignment changes. Basically, if you did something bad, you got a Corruption Point. If you were, of, like, if you were lawful good and you did an evil act or something that was evil, something not lawful good. You got a corruption point, and once you got four of those points, you went down an alignment. And depending on the severity, you would either go to neutral good or lawful neutral. And then you go all the way down until you work yourself to chaotic evil. However, these alignment changes would cause you to fall ill. You know that type of thing. It's a cool thing, actually. That'd be really cool if like you guys could leave uh, some comments or some video responses on stuff on how you handle alignment change. Because it's one of those things that in D&D, it's there, but it just comes off as, like, the DM being a dick, you know? And I think here it kind of eliminates it somewhat. Next order of business, um, my campaign world, the history, the lore of it, of my world that I've been getting for the past three years that I've had adventures in. Yeah. Heavily based... Heavily based off uh, a lot of the backstory is heavily based off uh, Dragonlance. It shows, you, it shows you how much of a fanboy I am. Got some other like town stuff. Uh, this for city. Uh, idea I had for one of my player characters. I like giving my player characters an arc because it's fun. The one that I always kind of use. Or who always ends up being part of the campaign somehow. Yeah, because they're just... It's there. Um, that might come into a later video, but yeah. Just ideas I had for plots, tying the characters in. Um, some cyberpunk stuff. I ran that a couple months ago. Uh... Realm of Terror adventure, because you know you always have to have your guy, you always have to have your players go through the Realm of Terror. It's badass. Uh, that's kind of all in the one folder. Uh, and a lot. I might do another video. I'm probably gonna do another video on more stuff that I could talk about here, because I could spend hours talking about this stuff. Second one. Some dungeon map, actually, I think that's from my Hex World stuff that I did. Um, Halls of Malak Star, I already talked about that. <laughs> uh, more on Malak Star, more cyberpunk stuff. My folder of NPCs, uh, like monsters that I've created Draconian Knights, Radioactive Grass Monster, 
you know, gold golems, killer floor. Picture, picture of a, of the uh, stall suit from Fallout. Yeah. Staff of Sanity. Already talked about that. Yeah. This is all more of my recent stuff. But yeah, um, that's that. Um, I might do another, I'm probably going to do another video on where I talk a little bit more about stuff like that. Um, but yeah, sorry I've, like I said, sorry that I've been a, a I haven't been making videos a lot. Of, as you can see, I, from the change of poster, the added poster, I got Grand Theft Auto 5 and that's been eating a lot of my time up. And plus I have school work and then, I should still gotta do some of that. Um, and then, yeah, just having a life um, and then gaming. Uh, on that front, everything's been doing okay. Uh, I've been running a Call of Cthulhu game with some friends. It's been going great. Uh, it's getting interesting. We played it last night, uh, on Saturday, the 12th of October. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun night, obviously. Um, had a character, ha had a player character drop six sanity points. That's fun. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, um, Do you have any more questions, or if you wanna understand, you know, if you wanna talk about anything that I kind of showed you here, leave a comment. We'll have a little chat. Um, as always, I'm John, and happy gaming.